until a phone pole snaps in half it's laying on top of the, the back of this truck right here yeah okay it went yeah pretty much came right over us and went straight that way jeez I can't believe y'all didn't have more damage. That, that trailer right there is uh, sandwiched like a soda can. Damn. On that black truck. The trailer right there. Get there. Get a shot back there and see all those trees and what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it went back through there. Dang. That shit might have been from here to there. Yeah, it very well could, could have been. You said it was. Well, I, heard something on the I heard something on the radio. I don't know if it was the Hendersonville part or if it was earlier in the day elsewhere, but it said two miles wide. Yeah, there was one out the There's no way. The tornado? Yeah. That wasn't two miles wide. Not the one they hit you. Oh, okay. One out of maybe. One yeah. Out Six people died from perhaps three in Marshall and three in So back here we've got this tree that has fallen on these three cars, none of which are for sale. And actually, they're still pretty undamaged. Maybe some scratches, maybe some minor dents, but no windows broken out, nothing like that. It's like... Part of the fence back here has been knocked down. I don't see any broken glass. All right, mainly just scratches on these cars. Let me go back here. Yeah, part of the fence is missing or knocked down back here. And over here. And it's a little messed up on the corner there. So none of the cars back here 
are available for purchase at least yet so this is not part of the available inventory right now thankfully it's like just the wind knocked the tree down it appears the based on the path of destruction i guess you can call it it appears the tornado came this way kind of diagonal across the maple motors lot we just saw some damage on the other side of the showroom building and looks like about a quarter mile that way there's a line of trees knocked down so it kind of looks like the tornado's path is going that way and i don't know if it curved or what the deal was but most of the damage in hendersonville was up this way up main street about half a mile to a mile as you can see there's lots of little sticks and limbs on the ground just scattered around no damage no observable damage on any of the cars out here in front which is a good thing but traffic has been backed up on main street all day they're already working on this roof the roof on the building right here next to the showroom it's like it completely came off and they're still working on power lines and traffic lights still trying to restore electricity up there closer to the center of Hendersonville give you guys kind of a lot walk while we're looking for damage right here a piece of sheet metal it's like part of their roof I'm not really sure the actual office itself appears to be completely undamaged this is the only damage we found aside from the tree being knocked down is scratch right here <laughs> that's literally all the damage we found up front extremely lucky they may uncover something else that we haven't seen yet, but we've had several guys walk in the lot and that's all we found so far. I brought my drone. I'm gonna fly up over the showroom, check out the roof, get a better shot of that. Back here. This fence is damaged. None of these vehicles you're seeing back here are available. So please don't call about any of these. You're just gonna annoy everybody. <laughs> um, so none of these are for sale, but just showing you the fence back here. Leaning up against this Mustang. I don't know if it got scuffed or anything, but. fence has some age on it anyway so not really surprised it toppled over a little bit otherwise that's pretty much it so I'm gonna do the normal walk around talk to um, some of the workers here talk to Nick and Justin and does look like they'll be opening the normal business hours tomorrow when the tornado came through here um, last night there's nobody here they're closed on Saturday thankfully so that appears to be the extent of the damage so overall Maple Motors got extremely lucky considering the value of <laughs> this inventory just sitting out in the open and what all could have happened they got very lucky and there is really little to no damage on any of the cars out front 
and the only cars that were damaged were ones that aren't even available in the back so somebody upstairs was looking out for maple motors i think that's pretty safe to say so like i said i'm getting ready to start traditional walk around video thank you guys for watching thanks for your prayers uh your thoughts a lot of people have reached out already and you know asking how is everybody doing you know we're thinking about you and we all greatly appreciate that i can speak on behalf of the maple motors family they're extremely grateful for you guys and happy to have you guys as viewers so thanks for watching and we're gonna get into the walk around video